I was taught to survive everything. So life doesn't stop. For me, when I got the diagnosis, I did, I shut down. I went into kind of like a a holding pattern for me. Mm-hmm. I, I wanted to not deal with it. And I took two weeks. I actually rented a house, took the kids to Disney, and put it out of my mind. Yeah. And I, I escaped it. I gave myself permission to escape it. Absolutely. And then I decided, now, once I've done this, I got to deal with it. Mm-hmm. I got to go head first in. And I had my doctor's appointment set up for when I got back in town. And I got this news the week before Christmas. Yeah. So I didn't want this news to be my family's Christmas. I didn't tell my family. Yeah. I called my sister. It was the only person that knew. So she was going back and forth to the doctor with me. But I didn't want the Christmas memory to be that's when Tracy got cancer. Right. Now everybody hate Christmas because Aunt Tracy. <laughs> right. Aunt Tracy <laughs> so sucked. kids knew nothing. And, um, but to get a diagnosis like that, um, your life kind of flashes before your eyes and to have children that are seven and nine, you just think about the future. Mm -hmm. And I had a duty to survive for them. I had a duty to deal with it. And you, you hear about people, oh, not going back to the doctor or I'm going to deal with it later. And they put it off. And then by the time they deal with it, they're in stage three and stage four. Wow. With a bad prognosis. When um, we hear people...